What is up, everyone? Kenix is here, and welcome back to Shutting Song, Star Nova. And your boy is back, literally seconds after. Still dying inside. If it's been a minute since this has been the last episode was posted, then you know how it'd be. Don't know, probably Royal and an AI was uploaded in between, but I'm gonna try to get this out because I, now that the story has deepened to this level, I, I gotta know what happens to Sasami. Is what we think is gonna happen? Is Sasami going to change the world? Well, I don't know. Her mental state is kind of changing now, so I don't know about that anymore. But is Sasami going to be the shining idol we all expected her to be? Change Shiro's mind and make a lesbian Yuri couple with uh, Shiro? Or is Sasami going to crash and burn because of her new mindset and bad end? And I don't know what there or is something else totally unexpected gonna happen And we actually do still get a Sasami route and Sasami ends up with the producer in the end and all happies and smiles Who the hell knows at this point even I'm confused more than I already was I don't know what you guys thought of the last one, but I can tell you I became a broken man uh, I, I've got a new outlook on <laughs> recording YouTube videos like Sasumi has <laughs> with uh, fucking Idol Life. It, it's just a video. It, it doesn't really matter. You just gotta do it and, you know, that's it. Anyways, god fucking damn it. My, um, oh, Lord, I. Oh, my mind is kind of warped. But as per tradition, I open the daily tabloid at the start of my workday. Scandal in the barn house. Alpaca couldn't caught in the act uh, with a secret alpaca lover. Oh no, alpaca couldn't. Oh, I was about to say. And, well, and what do you mean by lover? Did he did he do the do or did he was he just kissing all up? Giant reductions already in full damage control mode. He's just an animal for crying out loud. Says the manager. <laughs> God fucking damn it. <laughs> Motherfuckers really acting out over a goddamn alpaca. What? What? Did you want to fuck the alpaca? The alpaca has to stay pure and untouched as well? Like, whoa! Oh, god damn it. Anyways, uh. But I'm, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Only if you're watching this, you'll know this secret, but. When Shiro, when Shiro took Sasumi's adult kiss privilege, I, I did feel a little broken inside because I wanted to be the one to do it. But hey, you know, um, my sad thoughts aside, uh, ah, oh, ah, I, I died a little inside knowing that Sasumi's innocence was taken by Shiro of all people. Like if it was, like I said, if it was any of the the girls that are actually nice, I would have been fine. But since it was Shiro, I hurt my heart, my soul. Maybe even a little bit of the booty hole. I don't know. God <laughs> damn it. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Shutting, yeah, that. Well, so much for that idea. Yeah, <laughs> just like I thought, this alpaca idol nonsense was just a passing fad. Undoubtedly, someone downstairs was having a really bad day thanks to this. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, this was the idol business for you. Making a big one moment and then losing it all the next instant. I better do my best so that Star Nova doesn't meet the same fate as alpaca Kun and the thousands of other idol groups. I just don't understand what the big deal is. I mean, it's an alpaca. He doesn't have to stay pure. Who fantasizes a- I can't ask who fantasizes about fucking alpaca because I'm sure there's somebody out there who does. If people naturally want to fuck other animals, people definitely want to fuck an alpaca. So, I cannot ask that question, unfortunately. Ah, oh. The state of the world we live in. Ah, <sighs> I better do my best that Star Nova doesn't meet the same fact as Alpaca Kun. Fate, not fact. Uh, and thousands of other items. As I was thinking that, Sasumi walked into the office. Good morning, Producer-san. Good morning. Let's move out. Okay. I drove Sasumi to the film studio. My thoughts on Star Nova's next move. Lately, I had been so focused on managing Sasumi that I hardly been able to see the other girls. I should hold a group meeting session soon, since our dough live was now in less than a month away. After that, it would finally be time for the Idol Grand Prix against Quasar. Come to think of it, Sasumi's gotten pretty close to Quasar's center and Kudashiro. It was an unusual situation for two girls from rival Idol groups to be so close to each other. I should check in with Sasumi just how that was going. It's not going good at all. It's really not. It's not going good. Hey, Sasumi. How are things with um, Shiro-san? I think she's an amazing person. Lately, she's been giving me advice on a great number of things. I 
see, I see. Uh, but let's not forget that she's your rival. Are you sure she's not trying to stir up trouble? Like, is she bad-mouthing other girls or something like that? Oh, producer son, sure son wouldn't do something so petty. No, we never talked once about any of the other girls. Oh my god, my voice cracked. But then again, I'm doing a light voice. It's not my voice. <laughs> All right. Trying to get me to suspect my co-worker. I can't believe you, producer son. Uh, of course not, uh, but in this business you can never be too sh careful, you know? I'm the kind of guy who always puts safety first. <laughs> I can tell from how producer son always drives at the speed limit. And, and, j because he's a law-abiding citizen like this, you believe that he was on the phone talking to other girls, really sus me. Alright. Uh, indeed. While it certainly would be funny to include a homage to the initial D, god damn it, whenever I got behind the wheels, I was bored out to say that I was a law abiding citizen who never drove too slow nor too fast. Besides, this is one hell of an expensive car I was handling right now. The amount of work I had to do to get my hands on this baby. Still fresh on my mind, I was intent on protecting it with my life. Sure, son really has been helping me a lot lately. I want, I want, I want her to tell him she kissed her, and I want to see his reaction. I want to see if it's similar to mine, or <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm still heartbroken. Uh, to tell the truth, when I first heard about that. Heard that I would be working with Shiro san, I was worried since I had never met her personally. All I heard were a bunch of rumors about how she's really intimidating and scary to work with. But now I can say with confidence that there's zero truth to any of those rumors. It really is unfortunate how people badmouth others just because they happen to become successful. It's really pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose so. Uh, producer son, is something the matter? The matter? What do you mean? Lately it feels like you've been awfully nervous around me. Uh, well, I was just going to say, ever since you started this job, you've been acting increasingly like Shiro-san. You could say that her personality has been rubbing off on you? Uh, really? Well, I'd say that's only a good thing. I've got to get serious about becoming an idol, you know. Isn't it time for the Lamb of Star Noble to remind everyone that she still has a pair of horns under her wool? So, producer Saw, could it be that you don't like it when girls are assertive? Uh, <laughs> of course, it's not that. Uh, I know, you like quiet and submissive girls with big ribbons on top of their heads, don't you? Such a stereotypical chauvinist, you. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sasumi, I, 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 I'm not saying that's me either. I'm just shocked that this is what she's becoming. You never really see an actual pure, untouched, positive girl like Sasumi. And the fact that she's actually being ruined actually kind of hurts. Uh, like, you never see such a positive, pure person like this. It was such a breath of fresh air to have a, just a stainless person like Sasumi, who had only positive things to think about. And now that, I mean, you see them in anime too, but they're usually really hyped up to be overly positive. But Sasumi was just the right amount. She had her, you know, like, my heart hurts. <laughs> Uh, Sasachan, I swear that's not me. I was just kidding. Oh, really? Uh. I could never hate producer San anyway. <laughs> yeah. Unknown to me, Sasumi hovered her paw over. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I don't like it. I don't like it. Unknown to me, Sasumi hovered her palm over my leg, debating whether to rub it or not. He's wide open. Uh, I wonder if I should touch him while he's still driving. It's not like a guy would ever turn me down. Just then, we drove over a speed bump as I entered the parking garage to the film studio. Ah! Sasumi withdrew her hand and hid them behind her. 
was I thinking? That's a pretty dangerous situation. I almost said something really crazy. Oblivious to what had happened, I parked the car and opened the door. Let's go. Okay. Like, I have no problem with Sasuke getting bold, but you know this is only because her mind is changing, and it's like, um... It's not because she's trying to, you know, get close, it's because... Uh, I don't like it. Sasuke, come back to me. <laughs> the two of us arrived on set, ready to resume filming again. Good morning, everyone! The other staff members greeted Sasumi, while that Ito just grunted while buried in the cell, on as usual. That guy. Ah, she's with. Oh, sweet Jesus. What's gonna happen? Is she actually gonna say Ito touched my no no parts, or is something worse going to happen? Ah! <laughs> I. I. Oh, God. Just shameful. The kind of work ethic some people had, huh? I approached him, already annoyed. Hey, wake up. Shimazaki's on the set, you know. Get her, uh, get her to costume and makeup. We're gonna start filming in an hour. Uh-oh. If you're alone, Ito. I got some news for you, my guy. Ah! <laughs> all right, all right. Sasumi and Ito walked away and went to the change rooms. Three, two, one. Yep, I know it. I know it. I'm sorry, Ito. This never would have happened if Shiro wasn't here. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I mean, I'm not sorry, sorry, but the only reason I'm sorry is because this implication is a lot worse than what anybody could do. Fake like molestation or rape accusations are actual dog shit, and the people who do them. I'm sorry, Sasumi, are fucking trash. You should never try to fake a rape or a sexual assault thing because you're literally ruining someone else's life. They can go to jail because of that. Please, for the love of God, never do that. And this is me speaking serious. Never try to accuse somebody of something like that because you do not know the actual shit they will go through. And I'm not saying this from experience. Just to mind you that, fucking hell, but I'm saying out of all the cases, like, I've seen with this shit, it never ends up good. You're literally accusing someone of molesting or raping you. What do you think is going to happen if those charges stick? Someone's going to jail, or their life, or they're gonna be branded as a rapist after that, or something along those lines. It's never good to go and falsely accuse someone of something like that. Like, Jesus Christ, um... But, can we get a, like, voice line for this? I assume we will. <coughs> yeah, there it is. All right, thanks, Asami, for your contribution to this effort. Everyone on set shot up to attention at Sasumi's shrill scream. Shit! Oi, Medusa-san, what was that? To the change room, come on! We rushed over to the changing room area to find Sasuke trembling while backed up against the wall. Oh, I see! It's a group effort, huh? Congratulations! It's a group effort! Can we get a round of applause for this team effort here? Now that there's two people, you can't fucking refute it! Oh, congratulations! Oh, Lord! It's a group effort, guys! Never would have expected that one. I mean, I would have, but I didn't know Shiro was there! Congratulations! It was terrible. Poor Sasumi-chan was about to get changed when Ito-san reached into her skirt! Shiro rushed over to Sasumi and stood in front of her like a guardian. Terrible, just terrible! Who knew something like this could happen? The world is such a frightening place! Hearing what had happened, I grabbed Ito by the scuff of his shirt. You bastard! I knew you were a lazy ass, but to think you'd do something like this! Boy, oh, I, oh, I didn't do anything! This is... Sasachan, are you alright? Yep, there it is. Oh my god, I never thought I'd see the day. I thought, I thought Sasumi would never pull the crocodile tears, but... Here it is. I never thought I would utter this line from my mouth. 
but I am highly disappointed in Sasami. <laughs> oh my god. Anyone else? I could... I don't know, Mika, I don't think Mika really could pull anything. Well, the bad end isn't canon end, so you can't really say that, but this is canon story right now, so... Like, anybody else, I don't think I could say this for. I can't say I'm this- I- Julie, yeah, Julie. <laughs> but, Maria, I can't say I'm disappointed in. At all. Um, Aki, I can't say I'm disappointed in at all. Fucking... <sighs> Natan, I can't say I'm disappointed in at all. Memo, I can't say I'm disappointed in at all. <sighs> Julie, I definitely can't. <laughs> Mika, I can't say I'm disappointed in at all. And, yeah. Everyone else had reasons if they ever acted out. But Sasami's literally just becoming corrupted. She's not thinking for herself. And literally what Haruna said is happening. She's being played. And it's, uh... I mean, I can't necessarily blame Sasami. But even she had to know that... Oh, uh, man. Ah, Sasami, ah, I can't. I, I, I'm so disappointed right now. It hurts. <laughs> I shoved Ito to the ground, barely managing to contain my fury. You scum! I swear, this is... Ito, son, this will be a lot easier for you if you just come clean with everything. By now, virtually the entire cast and crew circled around the drama, shaking their heads with disgust at Ito. Um, everyone murmured amongst themselves as they looked at the fallen man with scorn. What? No way! Why is everyone- You better take responsibility for this! If word gets out, uh, it'd be a PR disaster for everyone, you know! Yo, son, just con- Um, Ito, son, just confess, and we'll all- and we can all move past this. Shiro rushed over to Sasami and stood in front of her like a guardian. Thought she already did. You really are just scum! Poor Sasami-chan. That asshole! Hey, I can't have this on my record, you know! I've got a wife! I've got a kid on the way! Please, don't! Hey, this is what I'm talking about. You see, this man had a wife and kid. And what do you think is gonna happen if his wife finds out he tried to molest some girl? got such a sour taste in my mouth because of this now, like, it's awesome he was such a good person. <laughs> and she became shit in less than a second. <laughs> Damn, mate! Like, ah, oh. Like, if it was any other bullshit situations, like, she said he did some dumb shit, but why did it have to be, like, the molestation or rape accusation? Like I said, that's like such a horrible thing. Like I've seen so much shit that people's lives just go to absolute hell because people they 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 say this shit and it's nothing like damn mate and then even when it comes out of oh it was a lie this person lied this person's <laughs> still getting shit because of the people who still don't believe oh i didn't mean to hit the scroll wheel oh jesus why don't you admit it and apologize i'm sure this little incident can be taken care of all right all right i did it i just couldn't help myself being near an idol i just couldn't there, now was that so hard? What? Uh, that wasn't so hard, was it? Ryusasan, he's apologizing, hasn't he? Let's not let this little happening or, uh, derail the project. But we will be getting a new assistant now. Of course, it'd be flat out unreasonable to ask Shimazaki-san to continue working with Ito after this. I'll arrange a meeting with the higher-ups right away, and we can get this sorted out immediately. Much appreciated. Come on, everyone. Let, uh, the drama's over. Let's get back to work. But that Sato shooed the crowd away. She'll help Sasumi get back on the set. Are you alright, Sasumi-chan? Can you still work? Uh, I'll try my best. I mean, unless it... No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Because of the rooftop. Yep, the laughter. Uh -huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I was like, unless Sasumi's telling the truth. If then I take it back. But no, it, no, it's real. Fuck off. Uh, I hate it. Uh, God damn it. She'll burst into laughter the moment she closed the door and locked the door behind them. <laughs> I can't believe you actually did it. Uh, my Sasumi-chan, you actually did it. Uh, it 
really turned out exactly the way Shiro's son said it would. Thank you for your help resolving that little problem. Now, imagine the shock on Sasumi's face as Shiro didn't take her side and was like, nah, Sasumi's bullshit, and she just said that to get attention. Ooh, that would have been so dirty. She could have, like, ended Sasumi's career right there. Now, Sasumi fakely accuses assistant of molestation like damn like she she got a one shot her right there but you know it, it's all good huh, it is so uh, everyone's practically tripped up on top of each other to defend you it just goes to show how much everyone believes in you don't feel bad about all this that ito needed to be removed from this film i mean he probably did but not like that like he could have did something else but that you could have, like, thrown water or something on you and said each will just splash you with water or something like that on purpose. It's anything but the rape or, or I mean, why? Uh, <laughs> that each will need to be removed that this film was going to be a success. You did everyone on set a favor right now. Great men have been acting as such since the founding of civilization. They lie, they cheat, they, con they course, uh, they... Uh, break things, and it's all perfectly allowed, you see. It's the way this business goes. Sasumi-chan, if you want to navigate your way to the highest echelon of power, this must be how the game is played. You are not just an idol. You are a player in the deadliest game humanity has ever devised. Society. Uh, I see. Ah, oh, you really are such a wonder. Uh, Shiro-san was right all along, wasn't she? In the end, this is just how things are. To tell the truth, I read a discussion thread about me on the internet. I was really surprised by what I saw. You're surprised by what you saw, but even you have to have the common sense to realize that's a small portion of the people who support you rather than everyone. Yes, a lot of people probably fantasize about being with you, but you must realize that that's not all of your fans. Like, that only takes a shred of common sense to realize that there are actual people who actually genuinely like you for what you do. Like, I'm not gonna lie, Sesame. That's a little stupid. <laughs> you being a little stupid right now, I'm not gonna lie. I never thought you of all people would pull the stupid card from me, but damn. Like, everybody knows that people have fans, and their fans are squid up in the subsections. There are the good fans who are genuine and actually like the stuff you do. There are the fans who like what you do but are toxic and will probably spread some toxicity. There are the fans who like what you do and uh, secretly hold their toxicity and then there are the people who are literally just pure toxic who are pretty much on that board that Sasumi had. They only follow you because of the toxicity and it's like you have to understand that's just how fan bases are split up that's like how the world works there's good people there's semi good people and then there's shit people it, it, it's like uh... She's looking at this in a whole black and white. Well, if the, if the part of this is like this, then all of this is like this. Now, you can't look at it in a black and white setting, because if you do, then, of course, everything's gonna seem like shit to you. Like, you have to look at the good. There are people who genuinely like you out there. So, like, come on, Sasumi. I thought you were smarter than this. <laughs> Even if you've been corrupted, I thought you were smarter than this. Anyways, tell the truth. I'm... Yeah, I said that. Oh, don't tell me some losers on the internet were bad-mouthing you. No, not at all. Actually, everyone was obsessing over me, as if I were their belonging or something. They were saying a lot of things about how sexy I was, or how much they would want to do indecent things to me. I suppose that kind of talk is normal for an idle discussion thread, though, but... It rubs you the wrong way. Don't worry, it's all just lowlies venting their misery on the internet. You'll get used to it in no time. But that's just the way everyone views me, isn't it? No, it... It's not. <laughs> Just before everyone ganged up against Hito-san, but it wasn't like they were doing it for my sake. They were just angry that they thought he took something which belonged to them. No. N no. No! That's not how it works. If you were just a normal girl and you cried out, someone tried to mol- oh, I don't know about over in whatchamacallit. Uh, I'm pretty sure it would still work the same. I don't know how it works in Japan, but I'm pretty sure if someone called out rape, 
maybe people would ignore it or maybe people would actually re respond to it. I know that if you're mostly in a crowded area, people will probably respond to it, but it really just depends on where you are of the response. There are people who will be like, nope, not my problem. I'm not, nope. And then there are people who are like, holy shit, you better stop what you're doing right there, bucko. Uh, but it's not a matter of belonging. It's a matter of you screamed. People reacted to your scream, which would be natural in a crowded area. And when they saw and you said, this man tried to touch me, people will actually react to it. It doesn't matter if you're famous or not. That's just natural, like, uh, reaction and response kind of thing. Like, come on, so, I, I just than this. Anyways, um, the only reason I could say maybe not is because maybe in Japan, maybe it's not as straightforward or as it makes it seem. I don't know. I cannot speak for over there. I can speak for over here. I know if someone were to scream bloody murder and there were people around, people would respond to it. And if someone said, this man tried to touch my no-no, that man would be arrested on the spot. That's how it would work over here at least. Uh, but I don't know about anywhere else. Maybe it's not as straightforward. I know in some places it won't be as straightforward, but I know at least, you know, there has to be. There just has to be. It has to be a similar system. I mean, uh, uh, I just don't understand. Uh, why does she have this, this such, I don't understand how, Sasumi, you were like the smartest character in this game and now, now, now you're on dumbass level. I, I don't, how did you drop this low? I don't understand. Uh, uh, what are you saying? She wrapped her arms around Sasumi and buried her face into her neck. It's only natural for Wen to want to, uh, want something so pretty, Sasumi-chan. This nonsense here, son. Why don't you stop joking around? But I can hardly help myself. You are such a delight. You said it was just practice, didn't you? <laughs> but you still haven't sealed the deal with producer son, have you? Looks like you. St stop. Stop. I'm, uh, this had been cleared of my mind because of all the shit that had been going on this episode. Stop, Shiro. <laughs> Let me help you. Since when has my advice ever not worked? Oh, so I guess it can't be helped. Besides, it doesn't count if it's just training, does it? <laughs> of course not. And the door's locked. The, 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 the door's locked. There's something bad that's gonna come up now. Of course not, my sweet. Of course not. But that sure once again lead in and pressed her lips together. Or is that it? Or... Okay, that's it. Okay, you know, I thought, I thought a little more was gonna happen because, you know, the door was locked. I thought a little more was gonna happen because the door was locked, but the game actually didn't take it that far. And now with this burst of confidence, Sasumi's probably gonna suck me off or something like that now. Sasumi's gonna be like, fuck it, Shiro gave me the confidence, I out at Edo today, I deserve me some pee pee. And she's about to go in for that junk. She's about to ride the producer all night, and he ain't gonna do nothing because he's just gonna be in pure shock that she's even doing this. And I don't blame him because I'd be in shock, but I'd still tell her to stop. But then again, I don't know, with how she's been acting recently, uh, 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 maybe it would be expected. I don't fucking know. After we finished the day's shoot, I drove Sasuke back to the office. Ugh, what a wild day. I'm sorry about what happened. I hope you weren't too badly hurt by that. Oh, no, no. Thank goodness you and Shiro-san came right away. Seriously, I can't believe how many perverts there are in this line of work. Let me know right away if anyone tries to pull, uh, pulling anything weird, and I'll get it taken care of right away. Thank you very much, Producer-san. Not really. Please don't worry too much about me. I'm fine, really. Really? What about what happened back when you were signed on with Golden Calf? Ah, oh, that? That really is ancient history by now, huh? In retrospect, I was an idiot back then, thinking that working as an idol would be easy. Well, thankfully I got lucky and I managed to experience all sorts of jobs after that. It really opened my eyes to how the world worked. She's kind of getting that Mika mindset, but... In the sense that it's slowly building over, and so the Mika just immediately jumping to the conclusion, nah, I'm a sex object, fuck that, nothing matters. Mika's mind immediately jumped to the end conclusion. Sasumi has got the end conclusion, but is still building upon that, and not jumping to the final conclusion of, nah, I'm not good for anything but sexual appeal. So, this is like Mika's route, but it hurts because you get to see it expanded. It's like her bad end, but expanded. Oh boy, 
Just without the whole jumping straight to the sex thing. It might happen, but who fucking knows? I don't want it to. I really don't. Anyways, I'm not really at the age where I can claim to be an innocent school idol anymore, you know? I'm a grown-up pro idol now. <laughs> but maybe that's disappointing for the producer's son. It is. And not because I want the pure, uh, dumb, airheaded idol that's just pure and nice. It's because I miss the Sasumi who had a positive outlook and was doing things based on her whims and not because she felt like she had to. Uh, I mean, she kind of felt like she had to when she started meeting fans and felt she had to fake smile, but Sasumi had such a positive golden thing going into this and now she's stained and it's sad. Huh? Even the producer's looking like, what the- OH, WHAT IS THAT FACE, SASUMI? OH MY GOD! That- that is the most smug, smug face I've ever seen Sasumi pull! Holy shit! Even the producer's like, whoa, what the fuck? Ah, uh, what? Oh, oh, uh, that's not Sasumi anymore. Oh, it hurts, but that's not Sasumi anymore. I don't know who the fuck this is. This is not Sasumi. This is not Sasumi anymore. Would you prefer it if I went back to being a cute little white lamb? Hey, you, you really have sprouted horns. <laughs> Please don't hate me for it. No, no, it's only natural that you would learn the ropes of the business. Uh, but I guess that means there's nothing left I can teach you, huh? Maybe I can understand what a father feels like when he, his girl leaves the coop now. But you're just saying you saying you... Um... Are you saying you've imagined yourself as my dad all this time? That's kind of gross, you know? Is it? Then what should I have imagined myself as? Sasumi then proceeds to put mouth on pee pee. You know, I would have- I would have been shocked at that sentence, but the music threw me off. I- I, I thought, after this sentence, mouth on pee pee was about to actually happen, but that sentence in this music kind of makes me like, oh. Uh, I, <laughs> Wonderfully, a wonderful, slightly older boyfriend. No way, no way. That creates so many liability issues for the company. Ah, oh, then at least a caring older brother. No. Ooh, Sasumi, what are you, what are you, what are you implying? You implying you want to fuck your older brother? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh sweet Jesus, I don't like where any of this is going. Sasa Chad, what happened to my Sasa Chad? <sighs> then, at least a caring little brother, just not my papa. Uh, please, anything but that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, a caring little brother it is. <sighs> yeah, um... I'm done. I'm, no, I'm good. Nope. Nope. Oh, no. Turned from staring off into the distance out of my window, feeling like the world has come to an end. Let's get back to this. Let's get back on it. I, 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 I couldn't have put it better myself. Just screen cap this, the whole left side of the screen. The whole left side is my thoughts exactly. That face, the ellipses, all of it. All of it. That's... Okay. Actually, I take that back. Never call me that again. I suddenly feel weird shit lolly version. <laughs> I take it back. Never call me that again. I suddenly feel weird shit lolly vibes all over the car. <laughs> Oh, sweet.
god. I wonder if Lucky Chan sneezed right now. I'd, I'd, I'd hope so. In a sense, I do hope so. Anyway, here's something I've got left to say. In work, it's important to always treat others professionally. You saw firsthand today what happens when the bounds of professionalism are crossed. Let's not forget that I'm a producer and you're an idol. Ooh, this must be mad. Mm, somehow producer son is back to acting like Popeye again. I'm being serious, come on. Are you even listening to me? Yes, yes. Even though my eyes are on the road, I can feel Sasumi's gaze on my face. No, they're that way. But there's this one's always so stiff. Oh, do you think that if... Oh. Uh... Do you think that if you were to touch me, I'd scream and call for help? Don't be ridiculous. Come on now. Let's not invite your producer to do reckless things while I'm on the road! <laughs> you really have grown some horns, haven't you? Oh my god, Sasumi's face is... I, I... Is this the same person? <laughs> you could say that I've decided to change myself. But tell the truth, I'm getting tired of getting looked down on up upon all the time. I'm a pro idol now, I'm the center. I've gotta get it together, or else we're going to lose the Quasar, you know? Shiro-san really is an amazing person, but you know, she's still my rival. I'm not going to lose to her. Next year, I'll be the one who's... Oh, I'm about to say, it'll be her who's number two. Sasumi's really gotten serious about this, huh? However, I couldn't help but feel a little worried. Oh no, you should feel entirely worried, extremely worried, concerned, at uh, yeah. Okay, ooh. It seemed like just yesterday she was a shy little girl with big dreams. What was she? Uh, was she really ready for this? Like, I'm fine with Sasumi becoming more confident in herself, but I'm not fine with Sasumi becoming a shit. Ah, that, that is what I'm not fine with. It's like Aki. Uh, no, nah, I wanted to say Aki, but it's like Sasumi has fused with part of Mika's bad end and Aki's original mindset of you gotta be an idol, but I'm only an object, but I can use that being an object to my advantage. And it's like, wait a minute, let's not do this. Huh? Let, let's slow down. I shook the thoughts in my head. What was I thinking? Everything we had accomplished so far was thanks to her abilities. If she's managed to get us this far, then she must be able to take us all the way. That's my faith in her. I'm surprised there haven't been any options. I'm sure I didn't miss the producer yet, because... It feels like there should be an option to tell Sasumi to get it together or ignore it. Something like that, but... Okay! Um... Alright, I'm glad to hear that. With that, we arrived at the office. I parked the car and left. Ah, <sighs> producer son. We went upstairs to where the girls are waiting for their joint practice sessions. Well, since everyone was here, uh, since everyone was here anyways, now seemed like a good time for, as any for a team meeting. But... Okay, no, I thought something was gonna happen, okay. After the meeting, I went upstairs and the girls began to chat amongst themselves as they stretched. Maria, you better fucking notice. You, you're, I'm counting on you to notice that something is incredibly wrong. You really don't see each other much anymore, huh? So, how's everyone's jobs going? You guys remembered that things were going more or less okay? Well, something funny happened today. There was trouble at the set because of the staff. There's that happened to grab me there while I wasn't paying attention. Producer Sun was really angry and got the staffer to confess in front of everyone. <laughs> Hey, wait, wait! This is big, you know! Sexual harassment? This isn't the time to be going, eh, <laughs> right now! I'd sue the motherfucker, and all his bosses, too! Hell, I'd sue that loser producer while I'm at it! Sue everyone until everything burns! Peh! I can't believe it, letting something like that happen right under his nose! Tasumi, are you alright? You're not still sho in shock, are you? Something like that never ha- uh, uh, something like that happening on a movie set. What a terrifying thought! Huh, some guys really are bottom feeders. I'm fine, I'm fine. Besides, it's not like, uh, it's not like before anymore. This is something I've been meaning to tell everyone, but we really haven't been taking this seriously, have we? Uh, the past few days, I've realized something. It really isn't enough to just say let's do our best with a smile and expect to become number one. Even though you see that kind of... Maria is immediately going to notice because this is that bullshit wolf thinking and Maria's gonna just be like, Whoa, hold, hold, hold the fuck up, what? Ah, you better, Maria, if you don't! 
Oh, why is everyone's IQ dropped then? Uh, I swear if Maria doesn't notice, like, whoa, 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 what the fuck did you just say? That is not what Sasami would say. Who, who are you? My, um, I, I swear to God, Maria, do not let me down. Do not let me utter the words that I am disappointed in you. Oh my God. So let's see. Let's do our best with a smile and expect everyone to become number one. Even though you see that kind of thing, uh, mentality in anime and television, and the idols gotta deal with the fact that backstage things aren't so nice and simple. Sometimes it just can't be helped that we gotta be mean. After all, we're going to be the number one. That, that naturally means someone else has to shed tears because they become number two. The most important thing is that we don't squander the opportunity we've been given right now. We've got to do whatever it takes to make sure that this chance doesn't slip between our fingers, because who knows when it'll come again. We've really been tolerating too much idealism around here, haven't we? Yeah. The other girls blinked on in disbelief of what was coming from Sasumi's mouth. Sasuchan's become surprisingly adult all in the span of a few days, no? Yeah, oi, Aki, have you been talking to her or what? She almost sounds exactly like you now. Of course not. Besides, if my shit lolly particles were rubbing off on her, she would have turned black much earlier than this. Yeah. Ah, uh, could it be that Sasuchan's been listening to Okuda-san? Oh, thank you, Nemo. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot about your antenna. Thank you for saying it because that's the damn truth. <laughs> That's exactly right. You've been uh, talking exactly like her. It's scary how alike they are now. Well, she's got a point, doesn't she? Uh, I don't know. On one hand, you've got a point that we gotta do whatever it takes. But Shiro's our enemy, you know. How do you know she's just not trying to mess with your head? That's exactly something she'd do. Hisasa-chan, hey, don't heed a word of her poison. She's trying to convince you that she's your friend, but all this is just bull. As soon as she wins you over, trust me, she'll backstab you. I've seen her do it with my own eyes. I already know that! Oh, pfft. Well, you think I wouldn't know about Kanahana? I heard all sorts of interesting things about what happened in Shiro's past on the net. Y you did? How'd you know? Well, I'm the center of a major idol group, you know? There's no way I wouldn't find out. But you know, I wonder if the rumors about her past are true, Maria. Is there something you're not telling us? Like what? What do you mean? Do you really think Shiro is a bad person? Yes! <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yes and maybe no, but if you're gonna do the shit that you're gonna do to get up top, yes, you're in- you're- you're- uh, you're initially a bad person for doing what you did just to get to the top. Does that mean you enjoy what you did and feel that what you did is right and that you feel all warm about it? If you do, then yes, you are 100% a bad person. But if you feel bad, you have a chance of being a good person, but you're still a bad person for doing what you did. And, and there's a difference. I don't know. Because it'd be easy to pin her as the evil puppet master and all this, but... She was once my friend. I want to believe that she was as helpless as I was during the center battle with Kanahana. Maybe she was unwitting pawn, merely swept up in that Kamijo bastard scheme. Maybe she's just a victim. But you know, how she went about it was self-centered. That woman just can't picture herself as anything else but a winner. Even while she was losing everything, she had to convince everyone. Um, she had to convince, her, uh, uh, convince herself that she was winning. Now that I'm older, I just can't accept that line of thinking. The very image of a star idol, huh? Unfortunately, it's personalities like that who usually end up winning everything in the end. Akichan's got a point though, shiro sons way of thinking is what takes to become the number one. I won't give up either, I don't just want to stand by her side, I want to beat her! <sighs> what a change in tune from just two weeks ago, when you were saying all you wanted was the peace and love on Earth. She certainly has grown up quickly, hasn't she? My, could it be such a child? Well, better Nemu to out her than, you know, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, yikers. Uh, Nemu just outed you, and I'm kind of glad she did it. Uh, I'm actually glad that she did it. Uh, uh, Nemu, <laughs> I don't say this often. But I love you. <laughs> Thank you for doing what probably wouldn't have ever come up unless she outed herself, which I doubt she would. So I'd like to thank you for outing her for us. <laughs> thank you, Nemu, and your mysterious antenna. My god. She certainly has grown up quickly, hasn't she? My, could it be Sasha-chan might have had a sexual experience? <laughs> a sexual experience? 
special experience! Hey, for real? You actually scored- No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not what you think. <laughs> uh, no. Looks like the Nemo Nemo and Tamu is a boo-boo on that point. Unfortunate. What a rarity for me to fail now. I mean, I'm surprised they just stopped there. And I'm surprised Maria didn't connect the dots either. Ah! Maria, please, you have to connect the dots. Then we're saying she had a sexual experience. And you walking in on Kanahana and fucking Shiro. And you don't just think, well, she's talking like Shiro. She's been uh, being influenced by Shiro. Could it be that Shiro's pulling the same shit she pulled with Kanahana? Did she do the do with Sa- Like, that would have been like a two second thought to me. Like, the minute Shinemu said that, I'd be like, wait, sexual experience- Ooh, and then, like, it just would have shit hit the fan after that. But hey, um, I mean, I can't fault you for this, I guess, but I still kind of fault you because since you were the one who knew straight up what happened, I guess, I don't know. Damn. Uh, I was expecting something, but sorry, I didn't read it. <laughs> I, I was actually trapped in my own mind for a second. After practice, the girls hit the shower room and wash up. Sasumi got into the shower stall and pulled her clothes off. So now I even lied to the other girls, huh? I wonder how things got like to be like this. Really, I've become a bad girl, haven't I? Somehow, I don't really feel guilty about it. Indeed, being a leader meant having to do things you weren't proud of. Oh my god, that face. Sasumi is literally just corrupted now. My god. There was a mirror on the opposite end of the stall. She wiped the fog off the mirror and looked at herself. She squeezed her breasts as if to gauge their worth. As she stared at herself, Shiro's voice echoed in her head. Sasumi-chan, oh, how cute you are, my little bird. Oh. The corners of Sasumi's lips curled into a smile. Yeah, she was pretty, wasn't she? All those guys who had lined up to meet her at the handshake event, every pair of eyes had lusted after these. Some of them even better at making, at masking it than others, but at the end of the day, people spent money for those kind of events, hoping to start something with her. In the end, this is what everyone wanted. The entire idol industry came down to two mounds of glory in her hands. Right now, she was... Uh, right now. The music? If people cared about the music, they'd be listening to Beethoven. But, by- Well, I mean, not necessarily, because maybe that's just not your genre. Uh, but by the fact that it did! Her albums outsell the dead composer from centuries ago? Quite a large number, she bet. <laughs> not that any, uh, one of those fools would ever lay eyes on much less touch these. She wasn't going to give herself up to no a nobody. She was special now, a shining star. While no one was looking, she couldn't help but pose in front of the mirror. She turned around, showing off to no one but herself. Her round, supple ass. <laughs> How had she not realized before? <laughs> All this time, she had so much appeal. I mean, yeah, Sasuke got a booty going on there. I mean, I'm not- ah! <laughs> Sasuke, stop corrupting me. Uh, you, pay I, you see, I didn't pay any attention to it. And I, that's the damn honest truth. Until it mentioned her ass, and I was like, wait. And I looked at it. God damn it. I, an unknown sensation flooded her. Her face was flushed scarlet. Her mind was racing. She couldn't focus on anything. It was frustrating, maddening, but she wanted to feel it go away. It made her feel so powerful. So that natural urges, don't you? Ah, just because you're a girl doesn't mean that you never felt the- You tell me that Sasumi has never done that up until this point? She really was pure. Oh my god. I really don't know. Her pink nipples were already standing at their tiptoes, and she rubbed them so much to make- When did she rub them so much to make them like this? Well, she knew her hand wandered between her legs. How was this supposed to- She literally has- Oh, she has never touched herself before. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. She was literally the idealistic vision of pure- Oh my god, I cannot believe it. Okay. But she wanted it. The release of the pent-up steam within her. Uh, you say something in there, Sasuchan? 
Sasuke's heart nearly jumped out of her mouth. Ah, uh, no! Huh, alright. Uh, what am I doing? Rhea's voice, having startled the lust out of her, shook her thoughts away and resumed washing herself. Oh. I... I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I feel like our next roof session will be Shiro teaching Sasumi how that works. I already thought that was going to happen prior to the drinking, but it didn't. But now that that happened, I'm kind of positive it might. The next day, we introduced ourselves to Sasumi's new personal assistant. Ushiro. I'm Ushiro Kana. Uh... Cot girl? Uh, I'll be acting as Shibazaki-san's assistant from now on. Thank you for having me. I look forward to working with you. Yes, let's get along well, okay? Of course. Yeah, okay. I, because I, with the name Kana, I was like, that's a, that's a, that's a girl, isn't it? Ah, this time it seemed that Miko Films had wisdom to assign a female assistant to Sasumi. Well, this Oshido seemed competent from the looks of her. Had no reason to discriminate between men or women as long as they fully fulfilled their job properly. Sasumi and Oshido went to the. Now listen here. Now listen here. Sasumi, don't, 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 don't think you're all that in the bag of chips because, uh... I don't think it's gonna work twice, but I'm still scared. So me and she went to class and, uh, set up for today's shoot. With that, I opened my cell and skimmed through the news. Opeka Kun vows to continue on despite the scandal, but rumors uh, around the shining production of his impending graduation from the group. <laughs> God damn it! Still more of this? Man, people freaked out over the weirdest things nowadays. It really was, it really went to show you that social media can end up hurting you just as much as uh, help you. Soon enough, the shoot began without any problems. Alright, that's good. Now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. <laughs> After our sh the shoot, Sasumi went up to the usual place to chat with Shiro. By now, I had become a habit to head and automatically upstairs to the rooftop. Just as always, Shiro waited for her. Good afternoon, Shiro-san. Huh? You came again. Hmm, what a relief. I was just- I've been waiting for you. Is that so? Why? Because I can't stop thinking about you, my cute Sasuchan. This is this is just a normal thing now, huh? This is just a normal thing now, huh? Fucking Christ. Ah, uh, as if it were their greeting by now, Shiro wrapped her arms around Sasumi and plucked yet another kiss from her lips. Sasumi tried to pull herself away, but found herself stuck in Shiro's embrace. Oh well, yeah, this is a new th yeah mm. This one's new. She's definitely gonna touch her down there. This this is this is yep. Why else would it have a bottom bottom angle of her skirt? Cheryl's definitely yep. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, Jesus Christ, Lord in heaven. I mm. ah! anyways, um well, this again, Cheryl said, just how long is this training going to last? <laughs> What's the rush? It's not like you've gotten cl any closer to producer, son. Making presumptions like that, you're kinda of being mean today. But is it it's true, isn't it? I can tell by the way your lips curled in frustration all the time. How you always dart your eyes at him and frown when he doesn't return your looks. Ah, uh, it really is unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe this reducer of yours is just another clueless numbskull. Ah, uh, there are so many of those men wandering around now these days. Producer son isn't like that. He's just really busy right now. No, no, I wasn't trying to badmouth your producer. But it's true he's not noticing you, isn't it? More to the truth, I'm afraid you're just... A company acid in his eyes, a good to be marketed and a good to be marketed and sold. That's why he doesn't ever pay attention to you. Don't worry, Sasumi Chan. You can still win this in the end. How beautiful would it be? A shining happy graduation live in front of millions of adoring fans. A happy retirement into the arms of the producer who watched over you all this time. A beautiful white wedding dress with a lacy tail. So long it takes all six of the other girls to carry it behind you. Victory. Sasumi realized she had somehow backed against the wall. She ran her hands down her shoulder and felt up her chest. But you need more training. At this rate, you're never going to win. You need to become better. No! Sasumi chan, have you ever.
Have you ever touched yourself down there? <laughs> Sasmi merely shook her head, no, her nerves quaking with embrace and fear. You haven't? My, you really are a white little lamb, aren't you? You know, watching this, I feel like I'm being cucked. <laughs> I, I was hoping to lead Sasmi through the golden gates of sexuality and stuff like that. And, you know, uh, uh, like, get her into gear with the whole thing, but... Cheryl just taking everything from me, and I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> ah, but your feelings, you must be burning up all the time, aren't you? Don't you ever feel so repressed inside? Ah, ah Sasumi-chan, you must want to know what it feels like. No, you must know what it feels like. You'll never be able to please your producer-san like this. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll be gentle, you see. No need to fret, you still bleed. Oh, I'll just say, wait, what? Uh, you'll still uh, bleed properly when he puts it in the first time. This is just training, remember? Ah! You're such a cute little lamb. She pushed herself against Sasami and penetrated the girl's trembling lips with her tongue. No. I don't have the heart to. I really don't. I don't, I don't have the heart anymore. Sasmi neither resisted or participated. No, but your face is so flushed. You've been holding it back for so long. No! This is not how it works! God damn it! Even with being like new to love and things like that you, you gotta understand that that's that's not how it works uh, but hey who am I to judge <laughs> this is just practice is it so it doesn't count so you know, we're getting a lot of Shiro Sasumi action than producer Sasumi action. I'm getting it into feel this really is the Shiro Sasumi route. We don't actually get a Sasumi route, guys. Congratulations. We get to watch the corruption of an idol just for... I don't even know. I don't even know how this is going to end anymore. Sasumi became way more corrupted than I could have imagined. I thought she'd get a little snooty, but no, she's gone full fucked. I, I, I don't know at this point anymore. This is just the Shiro and Sasumi route, so don't expect anything. That's all I can fucking say, man. Ah, yes, my little lamb. So relax and let Senpai teach you the basics. <laughs> can producer-san or somebody just bust in and stop this? Like, open the door, cause a scare, something. I can't bear to see this. My heart can't take it. Shiro resumed caressing Sasumi's tongue, the thrill of conquest pulsating through her veins. She gasped with pleasure as... Boiling that which was untouched, crest within her. Like a mighty ocean wave against the rocky shores, the taste of virgin girlhood filled her senses. Having it in her gasp, she instantly understood why men threw themselves upon the coals for but a touch, a gas, grass of the erotic ultimate. Her hands moved themse by themselves down Sasumi's top and cropped her two prizes. Yeah, she said it. She said it. Wow, this is a issue. What do I show? Ah, uh, I mean, what what do I actually show here? Oh, I, I can just uh, actually, I can just like crop the image and paste it above so the top half is there, and you can still read until Shiro puts her hand down there. There's no reason to really censor or to really censor anything. Shiro looked on with enrapture. Her eyes pulled out Sasumi's magnificent breasts. <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> I just have such a look of fucking disgust because it's not like it's a pure relationship unfolding before me. This isn't Yuri. This is forced Yuri, and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. And it's weird because I enjoyed Citrus, but... Like, even at some points, it did seem like the Yuri was kind of forced, but 
it devolved into a natural thing, but this is just Shiro being a shithead, and I don't like it. All men want to do this kind of thing, Sasumi-chan. Pay close attention. Sasumi's thighs squirmed and quivered as Shiro pinched and twisted her nipples. Like I said, I don't have the heart, so... You guys are gonna have to kind of read for this. <laughs> How is it? Are you wet down there? No way! Oh my god. Well, I mean, I can still technically censor. Because I can just censor to the lines. I don't know. I can't think right now, man. Such a grown-up panties you wear. I've underestimated you, Sasumi-chan. Stop it. You're already soaked down here. Why, you practically soiled your panties. She reached forward and gave her damp spot on her panties to rub with her finger. Sasumi-chan, don't worry. You're so cute. I know it's scary at first, but you'll get used to it in no time. Really? Of course, a girl needs to be able to use her appeal as a weapon. You already know how this goes. Well, I suppose. Sasumi-chan, this is your secret education. Shiro peeled off Sasumi's panties, exploding her soaked little... Uh, you're already... You know, I don't really need to have Shiro on, I just have to have Sasumi on for the sounds. Oh, uh, you're really cute, even down to the very last detail. Really, the very picture of an idol. Now, Sasumi-chan, this little thing near the top of your open... Uh, I'm pretty sure she knows her anatomy, but, uh, sure? This little thing near the top of your opening is your... Uh, this is what makes you feel good. First things first, your fingers are nice and wet and give it a rub. Ah, don't worry if you can't find it at first. As you need to get more turned on for it to get bigger, you see. Sasumi shuddered as Shiro's fingers pressed her happy button. I'm not reading this with like enthusiasm like the normal scenes because I just can't. I, I'm, I'm dead. I feel... Juices string down Sasumi's opening as Shiro kept stimulating her girl bud. You're already like this. Ah, your flower's blooming nicely. What a pretty little ah! you have. <laughs> Please don't use that word, it's vulgar. <laughs> I can't even laugh. <laughs> I just can't. It, it, it can't. I'm dying inside from this. This isn't a pure love scene. This is so tainted that it hurts. <laughs> ah! Ah, pardon. I suppose we don't want to tarnish Sasumi-chan's vocabulary now. It'd be a real shame if she started talking like us adults, huh? She'll vibrate her fingers virtuously, making drips of juice fly from Sasumi's entrance. <laughs> it feels weird! <laughs> I didn't even notice. I've been staring, like, at Shiro's elbow this whole time, to be honest, while reading. I wasn't even looking up at their faces, but Sasumi's in ecstasy. I didn't even- I'm being- uh, I literally haven't looked up at their faces since her top came off. I've been staring at Shiro's fucking elbow. Uh, like, literally, I can't- I don't know if I can find a perfect representation of my face, but this is how I've been staring at it. Future me who's editing, if you can find something, put it up, or just put- No, I couldn't. Like, that's how I've been staring at this. And it's just like... Fuck, dude. Um, now just relax and it'll come. Don't worry, everything looks perfectly normal to me. I can't! By now, the sides of Sasumi's open and puffed up like a warm dough. Her uh, was fully exposed and her gorge up little pinhead be uh, begged for more attention. Oh, well, that's nice. Shiro-san, stop. What if I pee myself? Well... I don't know, man. Uh, don't worry! This is totally different. Just let yourself go, Sasumi-chan. <laughs> no, stop anymore now. I can't hold back, Shiro-san. The cast Shiro's, uh, Sasumi's legs buckled, and she orgasmed. Oh, man, that's a lot. Shiro grabbed onto Sasumi and kept her from collapsing onto the concrete floor. She couldn't help but laugh and wonder as Sasumi's face convulsed as she was gripped with ecstasy like she had never known. <laughs> Have you finished? 
<laughs> the way I read that, it made it just seem like Shiro was done. She's like, are you finished? <laughs> no, that, that's just me being done. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Saucy blinked in confusion once the realization of what had happened sank in. She covered her face in shame. Thank you, finally. Alright, Sasumi, you can go back to the silent role again. <sighs> I don't like it, guys. I don't like it. <laughs> like I said, that'd have been like maybe Aki. Namu, Maria, Nata, and Mika. I don't know about Julie. Ah, but <laughs> had it been anyone else, I could have been like, oh, such a beautiful moment. Two girls experiencing this and unlocking true feelings. But it's Shiro, the one known for doing this just to get ahead. The one who played a girl's love just to get ahead and destroyed that girl, pushing her into obscurity. When I think about that, it hurts that Sasumi's innocence and first time like this was taken by someone that shitty. And I don't really know what to say. I, 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 I've gotten so attached to these characters that things like this bother me. Do you see how, uh, do you see how, it, it, how troublesome it is to record multiple episodes of a thing and then get attached to the characters? Because then you start feeling bad for shit like this, of all things. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell, mate. Anyways, I can't believe I did something like that and with another girl, too. This wasn't how I thought it would go at all. Oh, bye. Don't worry. No, I'm not gonna tarnish my reading because I'm disappointed and upset. It, 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 it's reaching that fine line of me being upset of when Kaede died in V3. It's reaching that fine line of being that upset just because Sasumi... This character has taken a full 180. Th this is not Sasami anymore. She's become a lusting asshole, just smart ass, and it's it's it hurts. It really does. She was so pure, only to end up so corrupted. And I don't know, cause I'm not saying oh it's about she's experiencing sexual pleasure. Nah, that's fine. But it'd been better if she did it on her own time. But. This is not fine. It was with Shiro. Shiro, who has done this before just to get ahead. It's actually sad. Very sad. But. Ah, oh my, don't worry about a thing, Sasumi chan. It hardly even counts if nothing went inside. Your rules keep bending as you go along, don't they? Really? Sasumi. I'm gonna ask you this. I'm gonna ask you this, like, straight up. What do you think? Truly and honestly. Two girls are gonna do. Cause, like, other than putting her fingers in, if there's no, like, strap on or anything, what else other than the fingers or the tongue are gonna- I mean, there's a couple things that can, but let's be realistic here. This is- <sighs> Never mind, I- I'm not gonna bother, let's just continue. Uh, of course, don't worry, you can still tell producer son that you're a virgin, even when you do it for the first time with a straight face. Sorry, Sasumi, I can't even feel bad for you at this point because you let it happen. Uh, I, I just can't. I don't know how I can feel bad for you anymore. You're so different that it hurts. Uh, I can't. I don't know what to do. But Shiro son, you really went too far doing something like this in broad daylight, too. What if someone caught us? You didn't really protest when it happened, man. If someone did, then I'd be more concerned for his well-being than mine. Don't worry, Sasumi-chan. As long as you're with me, I'll protect you. Nothing will go wrong. Now, come on, cheer up. You just experienced uh, something really valuable, didn't you? It was really embarrassing. But it felt great, didn't it? And you didn't feel like you'd just been unchained. You've been unchained. Like, you can now do it again whenever you wanted. Anyways, we 
we've spent too much, way too much time up here. Let's definitely head up to the chute now. Uh, we've done it now. Don't worry, I'll take full responsibility for everyone. We'll bend backwards to say it's totally fine. That's how things work after all. It's still improper. Uh, Saucy Michan in this business, improper is the norm. Ah! <laughs> uh. I think the best picture to describe is how Pip was. Like, he, he was just... broken. After fucking, um... After Desmond told him that shit at the amusement park, and he was just staring like that, that's just kind of how I am. I'm broken. I can't believe Sasmi has fallen this far. <laughs> oh my god. This is like... I never expected this. I never... In a million years, expected this is the route Sasami's route would take. I worked so hard to unlock this route just to feel the most pain I've probably felt in all the routes. <laughs> like, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you know, people might be like, well, what about Mika's NTR route thing? Like, with the bad end? Well, that was just bad end. That's not canon. All this that's happening in Sasumi's route right now, this is canon. Sasumi is literally falling from her once golden spot as the pure, innocent person, and now becoming just like the rest of society and following what they do and the corruption and... <sighs> after the conclusion of the shoot, I spoke with Sasumi after we left the building. Something the matter, you didn't seem quite like yourself today. You know, I'm gonna split this, we're already reaching an hour and a half again. I'm gonna continue right after this because I need to know this is the first time I've recorded Star Nova three times in a row because I'm just so curious about this story now, but... Well, the first time in a... Did I say in a while or did I just say first time? I don't know. My brain's everywhere right now, but this is the first time in a while that I've exe like consecutively recorded Star Nova like this because I just... Thank you all for watching. If you like this, hit the thumbs up button and save it to your favorites. Also, share with your friends. You know, let's just rev it up into high gear. It's already this bad. What more could go wrong? Now, next episode, expect the worst of the worst because I put it out there. But at this point, does it even really matter? Thank you all for watching. Love you all and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Mom.